I know when when uh, when when I when I mentioned the the Bill of Rights right for FDR, you guys were like, oh, oh, don't get me wrong. I don't know how the hell it would be implemented because I mean that's a lot of. I mean you're gonna need a lot of money and stuff like that, and a lot of uh, resources allocated. So I'm assuming higher taxes, of course, right? Not necessarily. Well, well, we can go over that too when we go over education in the next show. We can okay, yeah, we'll go over that. Yeah. So I'm, I'm gonna go to the second thing that I'm gonna say so I can finish. Um, at heart, I consider myself a capitalist, but the thing with, with capitalism is that uh, that's why I was telling you before that I I, um, I like mixed economies better because with capitalism, if you if you just go on Milton Friedman's approach, oh, just you know, basically zero regulations. Um, in one of his, his book, in Capitalism Freedom, he was talking about like the role of government in education. And he was saying, okay, well, you have integration and you have segregation. Well, uh, you know, you should have integration, obviously, but you shouldn't force the people to integrate. So just let the people do it, and then it's an economic factor. If people want to segregate their their kids, you know, they, they want to put them in segregated schools, but then the integrated schools have better education, then they're gonna, you know, lose money mm -hmm. because obviously. But then there's a lot of factors that play into that. And, 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 Basically turns and, yet, and yet that's actually being done, which I sadly say by, uh, you know, like Jesse Jackson and, and, and uh, what's that other guy who's always with Jesse Jackson, I forget his name. They, they make tremendous amount of money on reverse racism, right? And, and, and like uh, Sheila Jackson and Lee, they all advocate all black schools for all black students for all black teachers. And somehow that's better. You know, I just like... That's the but Milton Friedman's approach is don't have anything at all. Like just let the individual choose. And I'm no, like, no, no, no. Milton Friedman was attacking the federal level. He wasn't against uh, municipal and state and state-run schools. He got mad that the, that the federal government started intervening with with education when it was really a state's rights issue. Right, but why? You just, I mean, then you're gonna have states that say, okay, well, we should have segregation. It's like it doesn't. What? Well, wait a minute. Segregation is starting to violate what we already saw in the in the Constitution of Civil Rights. And we have an amendment specifically. The Constitution prevents that. Yeah, and you know what? That damn well better fucking yeah. stay that way. Yeah, Milton <laughs> Friedman lived through like 1968, which was one of the worst years ever in terms of trying to get civil rights and things like that. I mean, come on. Milton Friedman lived through a time where there was. Not no laws in the books to prevent that kind of thing. So his math and saying, if I don't have a law that's there and saying it, and he wasn't, and he was nowhere near a racist. But as an economist, you don't make law. That's what politicians do in legislation. Right, so, then, so then you have you have an amendment now. That's at a federal level. That's a freaking amendment. Yeah, but you know what? That amendment, I would agree with you. That's why I don't always just you on 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 federal. That amendment empowers individualism, does it not? Yes. Thank you. So, are you for federal laws that empower individuals? Of course. Okay. I don't know. You know, uh, for, you know. Uh, I was thinking about the some Republicans. Well, a lot of them they're saying, okay, um, pro life. Done. I'm like, how the hell does that empower? Oh, uh, dude, you need to watch. You need. We we covered uh, life, pro life, everything in the last one. I forget yeah, if it's I'm in part two or three. Think of it, yeah. My, you can watch that on, on my position of, of uh, abortion. I don't think you would disagree with so much with mine. I don't know. Maybe you would. I, I'm not. I'm not in either camp because I think it's too so far diametrically opposed that there's no reason. I don't know. What, I mean, well, what's the complications about it? The complications to me is that, that many people right? that many people that I have known use abortion as a means of contraceptive, which I can't. I can't agree with. However, if the if the mother's life is in jeopardy, it's her choice. If it's a rape, it's her choice. Uh, if if uh, I mean at any any point in the pregnancy, if the female has a a a, a problem where the life is in jeopardy, it is now Rusty disagrees in saying. I think Rusty had said that he wants the male to also have a say. Um, I, I I say that because I'm honest. If if I knock up some woman who decide who like gets in a fit of depression while she's pregnant and decides she hates me and she wants to kill my kid in there, uh, it I, I I damn well have a I damn well want to say under the law though I really don't you, have a say. You have a point. You have a point that that I would probably say you could make a, you could make it law that says it's a choice if both parties agree. Now no, if, you well if if Rusty agrees to help pay that baby, which he helped create, though, 
Yeah, well, and, 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 no, and it's, I mean, it's like, uh, odds are in that situation, if she really wants nothing to do with the kid, I'll go, I will take care of it. Give me my son or daughter. And it's, uh, but, yeah. that, but that means that I'm forcing her to go through the whole pregnancy and labor and everything else. And that's, that, that, like I said, it gets a beheated issue. Well, wait but, a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, you, it can be written that you absorb. Half, you know, uh, half of the costs that are. Oh, oh, no, but Marcel, the thing I can never absorb because I'm the guy, she's the woman. I can't carry the labor for her. She's gonna have to carry the kid to term, carry the labor, yada yada. Do we not? Do we not make laws in the books that measure emotional distress between you know, and like all the all the things that we have? I mean, believe me, I've I've got Posner's uh, political uh, analysis or economic analysis of law. I mean, we, we have all kinds of laws in the book that try to measure as best quantitatively. And I, and I, and I guarantee you, I guarantee you 90% of those females, if there was a numerical number, would agree to having the baby. Period. But well, who would want to carry for nine months? It just doesn't make any sense. If I don't want if, to Jonathan, not, Jonathan, Jonathan. There are, there are women already out there that are surrogate mothers. Yeah, I, I'm going to say that there are women who do that. There are also as many women who... Uh, I'm sure there is there are as many women who would argue, I can't want to stretch... Okay, I'm going to sound like a damn sexist when I say this, but I'm just going to say it. There are people who would argue the cost of sex uh, stretch marks and other stuff is priceless and there's no money, there is no amount of money that's enough. Everything has a price because everything, I mean, that's what I'm saying. We already have tons and tons of women that experience pregnancy when it's not even their own that a numerical amount covers it. Everything has a numerical amount. You know why? When you go to a court of law to get restitution, it becomes a numerical number. Nobody can ever argue something is priceless. Because in criminal law and even in civil law, your case against that other person will denote a numerical value. Well, that, that uh, is uh, Mar thing. Marcel, I actually have something that is priceless. What? My, uh, my integrity uh, and certain things like that. But it, then it, you would refuse, then, you would ref then that woman would refuse to accept the numerical amount by you, and then she would have the choice to... Uh, uh, you know, abort the baby. Which would, like I said, I, I, I was honest in that when we went over that. That would piss me off. It, w it would. But you already, but, 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 but see, yes, but there's always going to be, there's only, you can't make something perfect and foolproof. What you can do is to the limits of an individual power and choice, offer the maximum amount of benefit before the cost becomes too high in society where it costs us more than implementing the law. And that's what I'm saying is that there's a numerical value that is adjusted and, and done through it via lawsuits and all this other stuff that say the male, the male equivalent. That's how child support is figured essentially. I'll the give, male. I'll, go ahead, Justin. I'll give you my position on, on abortion since you guys don't know it. Uh, rape and um, and if there's a disease or whatever, the woman has the right. I, I disagree with Rossi. I don't think the guy should have it. Even though don't get me wrong, I would want to have a say in it, but I'm I'm not carrying the baby, so. Well, no, that, that's why I'm saying. I, I, my, my official stance and the, the phrase I used was, I have the wrong genitalia to have an opinion. But I said, I would immediately reverse that if it's my kid. So I admitted my, my very stance is hypocritical. Right. I want to know what the laws are on that. You guys are really touching on so What are the rights to the male? They don't have one. They can basically they can basically sue the woman, but at the end of the day, it's still her call. Right, and uh, I, that's, I think it should be like that as well. But then, I don't know, your stance is um, on, on life. Um, that's the interesting part of it. I mean, technically speaking, technically speaking, th that, that's just a bunch of cells that are, you know, mitosis and all that. I'm sure you guys learned that in biology. So, technically speaking, it's just a bunch of cells which... Uh, well, there's a debate on that. Uh, in that, uh, you know, it, it's, you know, on both sides there's debate about which point uh, a human being becomes a human being, both in terms of the bio, both in terms of the biophysiology and the metaphysical thing. I mean, some things say as early as ten days. Other things say not till month six. It's like that. That that is not cut and dry. Well, yeah, you're right. In the United States, I'm I'm reading it. It's Planned Parenthood versus uh, Danforth, the spousal notification, 1992 decision. Um, and, and also planned uh, parenthood versus Casey, uh, we've ruled it out. But there are other countries, such as Japan, 
that uh, the male has to consent. Yeah, but in the U.S., that is not the case. That is not the case in the United States right now. No. Yeah, I'm not, not, not thinking about it. I think it's actually pretty dry. Uh, uh, I mean, when does it become life? Well, a freaking red blood cell has life. A uh, white blood cell has life. So cells are producing, that means it has life, yes. But the thing is that humans are giving value to the cells, obviously, because you're getting attached to it. You're like, oh my God, that's a baby now. So now you have moral condition. You know, it's not just, you don't consider it just a cell. I mean, do you consider every red blood cell in your body? Well, wait, well see, that there's a, there's a very keen difference in terms of, of the, the cells as, as a specific entity, which is human in its nascency phase, versus a red blood cell is always a red blood cell. So that, that, well, what about stem cells, then? Huh? What about stem, stem cells? Stem cells are not human beings. Stem cells originate from cells from our, from, we have brain and spinal columns, and they're part of what makes us up. But they are not destined derivative human as an entity in terms of, of the life organism. You, it, there's a very different biological denotation and schasm between a red blood cell, a stem cell, and what a fetus is. Now, that saying, I don't deny the right of a female if her health comes in jeopardy from choosing to abort or in rape. That's what I'm saying. I'm not, I'm not pro-choice or pro-life because a pro-choice woman would come against me and say, even if the woman were poor, it should be up to her to abort. No, I say no. That is carelessness with life and saying you're using abortion as a means of contraceptive. Yeah, of course. I don't think it's responsible, but that's what it is. I mean, how do how you do I can't use the law to back that up. I can't. I, I disagree in using the law to back it up and, and saying I will let abortion become a contraceptive. I, 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 that's my position. But an individual can do whatever they want with their body. But that individual is... Well, uh, no, and you've hit on the crooks of why it's such an issue. The right. issue is an individual can do whatever they want with their body. And at the end of the day, the argument is the right. individual that doesn't get a vote, which is the individual that's either being allowed to exist or be terminated, which you can't even agree on, rather that individual is or is not yet an individual. And that's why it's an issue. I don't know why it's such an issue, actually. It's just a bunch of cells. They're not developed. The Th that's, okay, so that's the that's thing. A, a I could leave you as a baby in a dumpster and you would not develop and you would die. I mean, the dependency no, argument of where you are in the form of human being is irrelevant. There's a difference there because when you're cells, you can't breathe. You can't do other things. When you're a baby, you're out of the womb. You, you are very much... Well, wait a minute. When you're a baby, you can't have rational thought. You can't do X, Y, Z. You There's can't debate on that too, Marcel. Right. The thing is that you're capable of eating if somebody no, gives food. No, actually, no, you're not. Actually, I mean, I have three children. They can, You cannot introduce real food to a baby. I didn't say No. What I'm saying is that there's different dependency levels at each human, at, at each stage of human life. Yes, and just because there are different yes. stages of human life from fetus to being a baby to being an adult does not mean that, the, that the, you, are, you cease to be a human being as a fetus stage or you are now all of a sudden a human being because you're a baby. Scientifically, there is not a differentiation. The, that's what I'm talking about. The, the argument of dependency of which that argument is in terms of what is sustenance to life is an irrelevant thing because dependency is discriminatory across our entire lives. From so, and, and, and the other thing is the argument of uh, the argument... The, the, the argument that's made, and like I said, it, it's a very gray issue. Um, it, it's, once somebody's made up, made up their mind, it becomes very, very cut and dry. Okay, if, if they're on one side, it's a clump of sails. And, and they're arguing, you know, like uh, the it, it's basically an embryo like at fertilization. The reality no, is we, with... As the, human beings are a clump of sails. Well, no, 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 that, well, no. But the other thing is, I mean, a human being is pretty much largely fully formed within the first 10 to 20 days. Uh, they, they're get you, now, my, and, and I will tell you what Jewish law is. Jewish law actually commands the female to abort the baby if her life is in danger. It is actually a commandment that a Jew is commanded. There's a lot of Jewish commandments, which is part of the reason I'm not a good, I'm not a Jew. I couldn't yeah. be a Jew. I couldn't follow the rules. <laughs> it's like I couldn't. <laughs> a woman is commanded to abort. And Jewish law the baby's life now if the female I, I have to be sure on this I do think that Jewish law states there is a time frame where you can abort no matter what and I don't I, I, I may be wrong on that I, I may have misread but I'm pretty damn sure in arguing of Gemara 
that there is a period of time very, very, very early post-conception, I mean very early, like days after conception, that an abortion or aborting, aborting has no violation of the law. Now, as you go past that, if it becomes aborting for means of contraceptive, it creates a problem within the law. Now, once, now if the female's held, and I think if rape and all this other stuff are included, the woman can abort. Uh, but when the baby is, and I forget the amount of inches, when the crown of the baby's head is a certain amount of inches out of the womb, the baby's life is equal to the mother. Yeah, that's basically what I'm saying, that when, when like, if it's just cells, it's just cells, that's what it is. It's not. Wait a minute, wait, 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 you just skipped over. I'm saying that Jewish law doesn't let you just, for contraceptive purposes, abort. Uh, uh, now, now, there is a period where that is, where it's extremely early. I don't necessarily agree with that. I, I'm, I'm saying scientifically, it's, we are as much a group of cells as we are an adult as we are a baby. It's not exactly. It's, because, uh, as you said, scientific, you can't. We are all, we at different stages of our life, have all different types of, of dependency. Well, no, I, I, okay, I'm going to go back to something you brought up. It, it, I've been calling you John. It's Justin? Jonathan. Jonathan, okay. Uh, uh, Jonathan? And we are keeping him up, dude. No, uh, yeah, no. The last thing, and then unless you want to say something else, we should probably end so you're not kept up all night. Uh, and that is, you've made up your mind pro choice. Which means you've built an axiom that it's right. Which means uh, under your axiom, it's uh, it's very cut and dry. It's a it's a clump of cells in there. It's not a person yet. I mean, the reality is, when you go back to the science, it is gray as all hell, and that's why it's such an issue as to whether or not it is or isn't. We could agree. We could agree, though. We could agree, though, to say that it shouldn't be legislated, and we could let it happen in the courts of law, like it does in other countries. It just so happens that in this country, we make it a legislative point. We could all agree to say, well, let's let the courts handle it. Well, well, go ahead. For, for the, the, the thing you were talking about, about the axiom, I mean, uh, it's, how do I put it? As, as I said before, there are certain situations, like Marcel said, that, you, that, you, that you, you know, that it's, it's, um, it's logical why you would want to abort, okay, put it like that. But when it comes to like development of a baby, it's pretty simple that once the cells hit, that's it, it's life. But at the same time, when you look at individual perspectives, you know, it's like, I don't know, I just, I, I define like, yeah, it's the woman's right. It's hard, John. See, the thing of it is, is that we can't negate that once it is life, it's life. Now, the thing of it is, is what constant, where does property involve? In other words, if we, if the, if the child coming to birth results in the female's death, Obvi you know, obviously it's also putting the baby's life at risk. And the mother could choose, right? The mother has the choice. The mother can physically say, the baby or me. And I leave it up to them. No. And that's why it makes logical sense to say, well, this is a life for a life in terms of property rights. However, if there is no in, in anything in jeopardy, in that uh, we have no violation of property rights. It's merely that one was careless uh, with their life. They have no real problems in health uh, other than that, and they, the, the means of abortion is, is merely to have contraception, then I have problems. Well, uh, you know, that's what I'm saying. Like, when it comes to that, I don't have a problem with the women aborting for whatever purposes they feel like. Do I agree with those purposes? No. I mean, as I said before, there are certain situations why I would... Yeah, well then, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, okay, you're saying, you're you're saying don't agree, but you can't, you're, but you're saying the law... <sighs> See, then, then, you're, then you're being ambiguous on property. And so well, I, Who am I to, to tell them that you can't afford that? Who are you to tell them? Well, who are you to, who, who are you to enforce that, that that person's house is their house? The law. Well, it's different, though. No, no actually, at its most fundamental, that's pretty much the same thing. No, it's not, Jonathan. That is actually the same thing. Property is... Do you know what it is? Abortion does come down to property. That's what the logical... Uh, we're talking about trying to stay away from accidents. We're talking about logical property disruption. And what happens? That's if you consider the child or cells in this situation. I know you do, dude. Because you just personally said, I don't agree with it, but I won't change the law. 
You just said that. Yeah, which means you consider no, you consider a a fetus uh, at any stage of development to just, be the, a woman's property. Yeah. Okay. It's her property. She can do whatever she wants. Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, no, no. Rusty, he said that he has a personal opinion. He said he just wouldn't change the law. So that means he agrees with us about the life of the baby. But wouldn't change the law. I, I don't necessarily agree with you 100%. I, 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 I am very adamant about the fact that the only time I will vi my my personal shot is I don't get a vote. However, I as I said, I'm a hypocrite in that argument because I will be very personal about it if it's my kid. Because right. I, because I would right. like, because right. I'd like to be a father right. someday. Right. 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 If they are truly poor and they can't afford the pregnancy, that means typically the state would handle the pregnancy, which is happening today. We have the state that's, that's giving birth. That means that she has, she is actually losing no monetary disposition from this. Now, the thing of it is, that she can give the baby up for abort or I mean, for adoption. Uh, which is most likely is the case that happens, or she changes her mind and keeps the baby. And guess what happens at that point? She then gets welfare for assistance in maintaining that baby because yeah, now but it's but is but but We're talking about logic. We're talking about logic and what is the displacement of property. That's what we're discussing. So because we're discussing this woman's sole reason for aborting is because she has very little money, decides she can't raise them, baby. Well, we've already covered that. Uh, okay, to, you know, a bit to even go back to your argument you hate of using an abortion as a contraceptive, and God, that echo is fucking annoying. Um, it, it, at the end of the day, you know, say this is a career woman, and having a baby would destroy something she spent tw uh, 20 years of her life working up to. You know, yeah. it's, uh, you know, the act of being pregnant would interfere with her workload. You know, it, 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 I, I'm sorry. I okay, mean, wait, wait a minute. Okay, there you go. All right. But this person shows an action to create that baby, which is their personal individual property, which created that from they, they, they are, are full understanding and are full liability and responsible under law as the way we dictate with all other laws in terms of how property is associated and because that's how we form restitution of what the consequences are uh, of, of having unprotected sex or, or means... Uh, okay, uh, Marcel, you do realize it's capable for a woman to become pregnant on the pill with using condoms and sponges. Well, then doesn't she take a claim against the, the company? Uh, but that's, that, that, is, but that is a separate matter, and goddamn that echo is annoying. That is a separate matter from the abortion. But anyway, what I'm saying is that there are... But, well, what I'm saying is that if that is the case, the loss is not with the woman, but with her going after the company. That but Marcel, like that that has nothing whatsoever to do with. with <laughs> yeah, who the hell is it? I think Jonathan is echoing us. I'm not because I can't hear you guys. Can you hear us? No, I can't. We're hearing our. We were hearing ourselves through you. Uh, it, it was, uh, it, it, but that is that that suit is beside the point of now she's no, pregnant. It's not, it's, no, no, it's not. No, it's not. If you enact into something, and you and your action was based upon a sold service of, of let's say safety net of something because we buy things. You know, okay, you have a certain hearing. Uh, okay, that, Marcel, let, let, let me uh, let, let me play devil's advocate here and truly ex ex explain what that can mean. I have spent 20 years training for something. Say, say I'm a woman astronaut. I've spent 20 years training for something. Uh, due to a failure of a condom and my birth control stuff, I'm now pregnant. I don't get to go on the mission to Mars now. Which is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. It's not going to come around again yet. Or, or the mission to Titan or whatever. You know, I'm just painting a scenario like that. No matter what compensation they give her, the only way she can have what she wants, that she spent years of her life working for, is to abort the kid. That, okay. it, it's that. My, my, my answer to you, though, is what I already said, is that the United States, unlike other countries, legislates this. I would leave it as other countries do to the court of law to decide, because the court is going to decide where the property goes to. Do you understand what I'm saying? In other words, the court of law is is, is big because that's where it's going to get settled anyway. You, when, if we allow property to be property and what it is, that's how that's how a woman 
who can say, I have been irmeasurably damaged. All right, well, if it's damage to her cannot, but she will go to court and she will settle for an amount. No, 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 Marcel, you're operating on a flawed premise there, and that is that everything has a price. And everything, and in spite of the... Wait a minute, wait a minute, Rusty. Then you show me where in the court of law, when restitution is occurred, that it doesn't occur, that the price is... Uh, uh, Marcel, I'm not talking about, and I'm, I, I'm not this talking is, about wait, philosophy, not talking I'm not... Contract. Okay, what? Marcel, set the civil... The, again, you're, you're trying to dictate the topic we're on, which is pro-life, pro-choice, abortion, yada yada, with yes, civil perfect. settlement. They have right. nothing to do with each other. The only axiom here is arguing on the fact of uh, of correct. abortion or not to abortion. So you're right, you're incorrect. You just you just stepped outside of the law. I think both of you are wrong to tell you the truth. Because Wait, you're, I think both of you are wrong. Because if you're talking about property, why not say sell? They're they're just a bunch of cells. You said before they are not worth anything. I can't just because I, like, science doesn't show that. Is what I'm saying. But what I'm saying to the rusty is that he's saying he's arguing a principle, and and, and that principle is saying okay, my pride and my dignity says it doesn't have a price. But the point of it is, if that's the case, you wouldn't participate in the, in the court of law. Oh, okay, I'm not talking about her pride and her dignity. I'm talking I'm this theoretical woman on this theoretical uh, situation. I, I, I'm talking about the physical facts of in the scenario we've encountered. If she's denied an abortion, she is on a, she is denied something she can never get again. I, 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 you know, at the end of the day, I, I think about this like, you're right, in a court of law, we can assign a dollar amount to anything. I'm going to die because somebody did something stupid. Okay, great. I'm rich. I have all the money I could ever need. I have all the money my children, my grandchildren, my great-grandchildren could ever need. You know what? I would trade it all for the fucking fact that I'm not going to die! <laughs> Yeah, see, the thing is, when, I, when we have these debates, I'm trying to say, we got to stick to the context. I mean, if we're going to go outside on principle and saying, well, we're not going to participate within the confines of how we do negotiate price and settlements of the law, then what are we discussing it for? So that's why I'm saying I get, I get frustrated when we step outside. Well, well, no, we you're the one who put that construct in. I, I, I never did. My personal assessment is no, no, some what things... What are we discussing then? I mean, because I... I'm not willing to discuss something if it is a if it's in its own fictional macrocosm. That, but, uh, but but Marcel, that's right at the heart of the issue. The heart of the issue. The, okay, on the abortion, here are the. If you want to reduce it to its microcosm of facts, its microcosm of facts are the debate about when does a person become a person, the debate about whether or not a woman is allowed to be in charge of her own body, uh, in spite of the fact that there might be another person involved, and that's a, and that's a might. You know, like I said, be, what makes it difficult is we can't agree when a human being becomes a human being. It becomes a human being once it's a human being, when it's developed. Oh, okay, but, but the science is very gray on that. There is science that states that human being is, is conscious out the, the moment it's born as it is a, around a, by the time a woman really realizes she's pregnant. In other words, when we allow abortions. There's arguments that say an abortion shouldn't be allowed after the first 30 days because the neural pathways have formed enough to have consciousness. So how, do you have, how, so how do you have two cells meeting together, then there's four cells, and then it has consciousness of four cells? There's no way, there's not even a... Uh, okay, do you know how little time it takes th for the that, that, that... That would be an abortion within less than uh, a day. No, I think it would take much longer. Uh, uh, so we need to bring... Uh, 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 Jonathan, it has, once, once, once conception has occurred, that's it. But, but uh, I mean, I can, Wait, can you complete the sentence? When, con when conception occurs, that's it. It's, it's, the life is there. It's not a, it's, Yes, it is there. It's, well, what I'm saying, he was talking about consciousness. Oh, con oh well. no, no, yeah. I, there, there are studies that shows like somewhere between day ten and day um, uh, thirty oh. that consciousness is derivable. But at the end of the day, that's not provable. But there's evidence. Let me state my position if it isn't clear. My position is is that science is saying because I don't buy which what you're arguing consciousness is in terms of dependency level, in terms of stages of when the human being evolved is is at any point in time. To me, once conception starts, the human being, while is probably at its weakest form, is still a human being versus an adult, which is probably in its more maturest form, is that you know doesn't need as much. Doesn't is is regardless the same the same species in its from its nascency to its termination. The thing of it is is that 
I look at it as property, and I am willing to let the courts of law and say, we maybe let's take this out of legislation and let the courts of law dictate it. That's why I don't step outside the bounds. I can't, I can't argue this abstractly with you, Rusty, because my arguments are solely based on the logic of property. If you take that away from me, I have no argument. Yeah, I, don't know what, I don't. I don't. Yeah. I don't know what to argue with. I uh, just could say. Uh, uh, okay. Saying. Well, this is this, and I don't want to do that. I've uh, been trying to say that I have a, that there's an establishment of property. Now, if science comes up and literally just says, fine, that this is a different thing, and this is now scientific fact. I think the woman should have oh, decided. Look, you know. uh, uh, okay, but Marcel, what you're getting at there is something you, you're actually contradicting yourself in what you said in the China thing earlier and that you're saying okay you want to make it purely a property issue it's the woman's womb it's her property okay but if there's scientific evidence that there is conscious responses at early stages of fetal development then that means you're effectively saying that why a fetus is in the womb it's a slave Basically, that's exactly what I was going to say. It's a property of the woman. It's, her, it's a slave, basically. It doesn't have any rights. Wait a minute. I, that's not what I just said. I said that a human being it, it is, cannot be judged as a property based upon dependency levels. Having co Acquiring consciousness, acquiring cognitive abilities, acquiring speech, acquiring walking, acquiring uh, you know, mathematic knowledge are that all different. Sense, that doesn't make any sense because you're basically saying you can leech off of you can develop off of me. You're dependent on me, but you oh can't. no 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 no! A baby, a, a baby, outside, only to the concept of what Rusty just brought up. When you have means of like a condom or a pill to prevent pregnancy, and you engage in intercourse, and that procedure fails, your restitution lies in gaining whatever recourse can happen in the court of law. And then if you want to argue value, then I would counter-argue and say, well, there are deaths and car accidents that get settled. Where life, as a, as a teenager or an adult, where they die, the value of that person is then argued in court of law and is indisputable. What, what I'm saying... Oh, I wouldn't... I, Marcel, I would never stand here and say that those values are indisputable. I will say that the values the court arrived at. I will never sit here and quantify that a person's value is indisputable. Well, then how do you... How else... Then how, but we are in the context of law. I'm not in your spiritual realm. I'm solely <laughs> arguing for what we can make in law. We can never make law. God or a spiritual entity or the, the, the uh, embracement of saying every extreme of existence is in its purest form, you know, equal to the other. It doesn't happen in law. I am, I am grounded in my arguments to what we have pragmatically today. If you want to step outside that, of course. We can How am I stepping outside of what we have today? Because That's... you just said that I, you would never put it, you would never put uh, a value on it, but yet... I no, that's not what I said. I said if the, the court will make their decision and they'll weigh and they'll do things. What I'm saying is I would never argue with anybody who would, who would want to argue with the assessment of the court. But at the end of the day, the court made its ruling and what? the ruling's what it is. That's why we have appeals process and everything else. You just changed it. You said, okay, so now you're saying you're not going to argue with the court? I know. I'm saying I'm okay. What you're saying is uh, okay. A court makes a ruling. This person had a quantifiable value because the reality is, I can tell you to the penny using actuary tables and everything else what a human life is worth. And if I want to get really cynical and chaotic, I can use the actuary tables that we use in a court of law, and I can say, okay, that person's worth blah. And, you know, which means technically if I shoot them, I should just have to pay a guild. You know, no, they're worth blah. Here, take the money. That's all they were worth. That's all they were. They, wanted, they, they were worth this much. Uh, and and, and, and that, that's the thing. At the end of the day, that's, that's what's core here. What it, it, At the end of the day, why that's such a heated thing and why three people here who basically have the same position uh, that uh, uh, from different points of view are having such a heated debate over it because it goes to the fundamental question. What is a human being? When do they say now it, you're glossing over it because I want you to validate what you're saying. You just said you would never tell I would never tell a person that their life 
doesn't have uh, X amount of value, value beyond the court. Of course not. But if we are arguing, we are. I thought we were arguing what we would want this country to do. That means we have to make a law or respect a certain type of law. A law is cold. A law cannot sit there and tell you that your daughter's life has infinite value. It won't do that. So what I, I, I'm not in that context of saying if we're discussing law, that's what I'm saying. That's why I would let the courts decide because I, as a congressman, would hate to say... Uh, okay, okay. That, that In that respect, you're contradicting yourself because what are you if saying? I'm not, I didn't contradict anything. It, okay, you you no no no. You, you, we're acknowledging that the law can never cover all the scenarios. It can never color to cover the quantifiedness and assault. So you're wanting to have something that can't be covered by law be judged in the court of law. I'm no, confused. Well, what it is is that what it is is that legislation legislate. The courts don't legislate, right? The courts, the courts are there, as in other countries, decide uniquely on each case. See, if we decide to make, for instance, like, uh, God, this is going to open another can of worms. Like, it's the difference between saying we want to put the laws in the book for gay marriage when we don't need to, if, but but we make it all of a sudden a specific law that's legislated. Uh, okay, well, he, 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 here's what I'm thinking we should do because we could probably go on for another hour ninety minutes. Uh, um, unless saying, you and I'm, I'm, no, no, no. What I would I'm saying is, there's a difference between legislation of making something specific and letting a more, which actually is more Jonathan's position. Jonathan is saying, I personally disagree with doing it, but I don't want to manipulate the law. The law is fine. In, in essence, he's saying the law is fine as it is. I'm also saying the law, to an extent, is fine as it is. No, but the thing and, is, the thing is that I, you're right to an extent. I. It's not that I don't want to manipulate the law. I'm using the law in order to protect the individual rights of the woman. Sure. That's the yeah, problem. You and I differ. You and I differ slowly on where that property begins and ends. Whereas the rest of you are introducing more abstracts into this argument. Well, I, I'm try since we were having the argument, I was introducing, you know, this. The, one of the reasons that people are, okay, I, I'm, I, okay, I'm bringing up, even though I'm not specifically pro-life, I'm bringing up the pro-life aspects, which is the argument that um, at a certain point during the pregnancy, and this is the matter that's a significant debate, um, that, uh, that at a certain point during the pregnancy, it has developed enough that it's no longer a cluster of cells, that it is beginning to become a human being. See, to me, I don't care about that stuff. To me, it's, does the woman have the right to choose? Yes, done, of course. That's it, simple as that. I mean, when, once it gets up to like five, six months and it's like you can see the belly and everything, it's kind of like, oh, it's already almost there anyways. So, but that's my opinion. But, uh, but when it, huh? No, I get you. I get what you're saying. I mean, you and I are closer in our position. We just disagree essentially where the property disruption occurs. And plus, I mean, you have natural body functions that terminate cells. Apoptosis, if you guys want to look that up. Sure. Right? So but but it's it's cells and, yeah. You, okay, we're, we're going to agree to disagree on where the property of the fetus Well, no, and, uh, that's actually the argument all three of us have been having for the last argument. No, that, but you keep introducing, like, these abstracts that I couldn't... I no, 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 Marceau, I am not introducing abstracts. I'm saying the science is fuzzy. There is oh, the, the argument we the uh, the argument we make like he's saying right now five months okay it's clear everybody can see it uh, the reality is uh, and there's a reason we don't allow fifth uh, well some places allow fifth and six months abortion but most don't um, and, and there's a reason that we drew the line there what I'm saying is and this is why there's the whole debate there now there's the, there's the fundamentalist extremist debate of it's a sin. But there's, there's also a bunch of in-between people who are, okay, we didn't have, we know science now that we didn't know then that states the, the date we set isn't, isn't early enough. That, that, that basically we were wrong about when that happens. Sure. And that's that's why there's a debate, and well, and, that, and there, there's yeah. there's two arguments for modifying the law. Sure. Argument well, one is slate, based on way. based on a, new science. A slave is an uh, autonomous entity forced into servitude. It is not it is not something that the person creates by their own behavior. So a that would be a baby then. No, a baby is not a slave. You just you didn't hear me. 
a corporation is an autonomous entity that has nothing to do with that which puts it in the uh, Okay, but Marcel, let me ask you a hypothetical having to do with sun. A, by definition, is a slave something that you tell it to do something and it doesn't get a vote and a, vo and a vote in it, but it is autonomous? Wait a minute, say it again. Is, is it, would you define a slave as an entity that is autonomous and is subservient to your will? In other words, whatever you choose to do to it or with it no, or no, for it. I find it a contradiction. Because autonomous and then servitude, I mean, to would be in a contradiction. Okay, an autonomous uh, entity that is your property, that is at it, it, that basically you're in charge. Well, then you just assigned it my property. I mean, the thing of it is, is that well, under that, the law, but, you know, at one point, grown adults were defined as property that didn't that's, make it. They, that's right. They were autonomous entities put into servitude by by which means they were not connected to and were forced in that condition. So uh, okay, so how is that any different than assuming the argument of uh, at a certain point a fetus has, be has begun to become a person? But because the fetus was created by 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 the mother and, and but so the and fetus and didn't have a choice. Well, okay, now we're getting into theological things. But so it's, it's, it's not theological. A slave, the slave. If I were to buy uh, Jonathan, did I create him? No, I didn't do anything with him. But I'm now punishing him and putting him in a... Uh, okay, then let me ask you a something. A, 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 a living entity, a per, if a person is property... Uh, so basically your logic is a person that's property isn't a slave if the person was created. So basically if I created a clone of myself, it's my property, but it's not a slave? Well, now you're getting into cloning, but, uh... No, I... I well, I'm, I'm, I'm following the logic of your argument because I created yeah, that clone. There, yeah, that's actually a very... Because that's what people are talking about. We, we're not allowed to clone human beings, even though <laughs> I know that men, we're, we've cloned a sheep and all that other stuff. Now, that's that's where science goes in, and, and if you were to clone yourself, I'd say, no, that's not your property. I mean, uh... It, it's, a, it's a human being. It's because I have to assign our laws... See, this is... Let me give you a good analogy. You know people that love pets, and they want people to protect pets, but yet the, the law is not as lenient in, in punishments and rewards per, to, to pets. Why is that? The reason being is that our laws are for the context of human beings. A clone is a human being, meaning it falls into the individuality of our context of law. If you create an alien, I guess, uh, which can be classified as non-human, then I guess it would be a, a, a slave of some sort. How much do you guys know about Buddhism? Uh, it depends on which teaching of Buddhism. Okay, well, the Four Noble Truth, the first one is life and suffering. You guys know that. Yeah. Okay, well, in that context that you were saying, you're forcing somebody to come into a situation where they wouldn't want to be in, right? So if a mom and a dad have sex, boom. It's conceived that maybe they don't want to come into this life and life is over anyway. So well, like slave. I said, we're getting into theological debates because there's certain there's certain <laughs> beliefs that believe everybody chooses to be born through the parents. Yeah, you, thing. you just assign that baby's choice for it. Like, okay, they didn't so want to come. let's remove the Buddhist. I have no idea what the choice would be. Right, so let's remove, let's remove, I just want to talk the Buddhism to see what you guys want to say. So let's remove that. Okay, mom and dad have sex. It's conceived. Okay, now the baby's born. Now the baby is in, in the womb, right? First day. He didn't choose to be in that womb. So you just assign it again, that choice. I mean, you just assign uh, a choice for the baby automatically. You just said he didn't decide to be in the womb. Yeah, he didn't decide. He just came. Like, that's it. Like, you know, he was, he was forced into that situation. Okay, well, you know, I'm born in the earth. I didn't decide to be in the earth. Yeah, exactly. So when you're, in, so when you're in the womb, are you yeah, just but, but still, wait a minute. The, our laws reach. <laughs> It's in the context of the human being. I can't get into... I mean, because it's the same analogy of saying, well, I'm here on the earth. I, I, I guess I didn't... <laughs> be no, no. I have no, no choice no. being born of this damn planet. I want to be born on you. But Marcel, are you realize how much of a tunnel vision you get? <laughs> no, before you were saying that um, a slave is like a person that gets forced into a situation, but they, you know, like, they're... Like, if you buy... I said an autonomous entity, right, that is forced upon... By by the the other autonomous entity essentially, which forced them to be in, uh, which is in the context of human beings, which is the context of human beings only, not some alien race 
Oh, 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 okay, but that goes back to what he's saying. The the fetus is there. It was created. Okay, of us setting aside the theological ship for a moment. The the fetus had no vote in becoming a fetus. Mom and dad got together and made a decision. Is it so hard for you guys to understand? Our laws are the, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. Our laws start and stop. Wait a minute. Our laws start and stop with the existence of human beings. Oh, okay, Marcel. That's the, and that is what I have been saying the whole time, and now and now he's trying to say the same thing. That's where it becomes a debate. At right. what point does the fetus become a human being? And right. that yeah. is the debate. And, the, and that's where it becomes in the gray line of whether it's right or wrong and yada yada. If the fetus has crossed the line where it has become a human being, then the woman making the choice on behalf of the fetus to abort it is the woman treating the fetus as either property or a slave, depending on how you choose to define the terms, making the choices for and no, another no, person. That's my okay, I agree with you that we are deciding, I agree with you that we are deciding the definition of what is a human being. But you must, you guys must understand is that the rest of you brought in and what Jonathan was trying to do is define slave. I'm just, I just said, the context of slavery is within our laws, which is based on human okay. laws. So we can't escape that. Now, if aliens come to this planet and all of a sudden, I guess, enslave us, I guess we have to expand the definition. But that hasn't happened yet. You know, so, so look, look, you were, you were saying, right, in your, in your uh, belief, it's property, right? Yes, right. that, that I with Rusty okay. school. We're debating what the delineates a human being. That right. we, and, you believe, are, and you believe that that, on that right? And you believe that those cells are humans, no matter what the stage is, right? Correct. Okay. So going by your definition, the baby was not. He didn't decide to come in this world. It was forced by two consenting adults to come into life as a hum, as a fetus, a human fetus, right? Which is a human, and he's forced to be in in this world, okay, as life. So he would be a slave, right? No. But how wouldn't it be? You said that define your as well, a slave to me? Hell no. Huh? Basically, Marcel is splitting hairs, and his definition, all people that are property are not necessarily slaves. Uh, in my personal opinion, and I, and I joke I, I, I joke about this when I talk with people about kids, because under our society in the United States of America, kids are not citizens. They do not have the right to vote. They are not allowed to choose what happens to them. They are mom and dad's property yeah. under the law. And at, 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 at the end of the day, um, you know, some people would go, well, that makes kids slaves. And there's a big debate on that and, you know, child's and rights and yada yada. I think any court of law would debate with you that if you murdered your own child, that you wouldn't have, then you wouldn't have violated that property to constitute that you would create a criminal act. And that's right. the thing. Something that becomes a criminal act outside the womb is gray right. as hell inside the womb, and that's why it's an issue. Yes. We agree on that, but you guys are challenging me on the definition of slip. Because it's, I, a child is, my child is not my slave. Basically, yes, though. No, he's not. <laughs> no, that's not a slave. Are you a slave to your company? I mean, am I that, a slave? That, there's a philosophical debate on that in some circles, <laughs> actually. <laughs> if I wanted to go outside, right, I was seven years old. Actually, if I violate my code of conduct with my child and, and abuse them, my child will be taken away from me by the state. Therefore, he's not my slave. Then all this now are moot because my child will be taken away from me by the state. So your child would become somebody else's property in the same way your car would be taken away from you if you abused the right of owning it. Right, plus, and on top of that, I mean, you don't... Really no, 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 you can't say owning it. That means that you don't own it. That means if you violate the lease that you have with the bank and not paying them, it's not your you problem. No, 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 Marcel, in, in many counties and cities... Uh, part of having ownership of a car and license is agreeing to pay certain fines, in which case ownership is taken from you if you don't abide by that contract. If, uh, oh, if you uh, uh, don't abide by certain laws or, or whatever. Yeah, uh, it's but, like... I mean, this stuff doesn't make your child a slave. I mean, I don't understand. <laughs> well, no, no, uh, basically, you're, you're, uh, uh, basically, at the end of the day, we're using the definition that a person owned is a slave. Look, I don't even know if I believe this myself, but I'm going to say it anyways, okay? If I'm seven years old and I want to go to the park, right? Well, I want to, you know, 
I think I'm an adult now, I'm seven years old. My mom and I used to tell me, look, when you're 18 years old, you can do whatever you want, but until then, you better, <laughs> like, you know, that's it, you know? Well, it's because like, she's so, liable for you, technically, until you're... Yeah, basically, so, um, so you, you can say you're a slave until you're 18 years old, so you can become emancipated, you can become independent. Yeah, that's the age you get, the, well, and, and there's the debate, and, and this is actually a topic we should cover at some point, too. <laughs> Can I make slavery a, a very specific definition for you? Slavery for you has, to do, has to do with economic production anyway. You are basically forced to... Okay? Slavery essentially is, is a forcing of work, is it not? We don't, I don't force my kids to work. They well, when, you, when you give them chores? Huh? You give them chores? <laughs> I, I, give, I, give, I do give them chores, and I also pay them an allowance for doing so. But do they want it? Do they want to do the chores? Did yeah. they ask you for the work, or did you assign it? I mean, technically, China gives their citizens an allowance. Slave labor, dude. But yeah, yeah, yeah. You you said all the people who are getting paid this ridiculous wage, an allowance in China, are slaves. <laughs> you guys, the economic factor of having a slave in terms of what China has. I, I, I'm not saying they're the same thing. I'm saying it's they. Not a slave. Okay. I'm not it, saying it, they're the I same kind of slave, but at the end my, of the my, day... My child, my child doesn't have total autonomy. So I, that would exclude it from my slavery definition anyway. An autonomous being, which is on par in the law that is put under servitude, is a slave. Because it, they are, they are violent. They're oh, oh, okay, okay, but wait a minute. That definition contradicts itself because if it's a slave, it's not autonomous. Hmm? Well, on top of that, on top of that, he was forced to be. That's right. You changed his condition. You changed his condition. Thank you for proving my point. You and your wife had sex, and basically your child was forced into this world, and now you're liable for it until he's 18 years old, and now you're paying him money, even though he doesn't really want to do the chores. He does want to do the chores. My, my son actually does. He gets his little Star Trek micro machines and all that okay, shit. Okay, okay, look. You brainwash, you brainwash your child. Oh, you brainwash <laughs> Why are you so, why are you guys stretching? Why I guess my position is why are you trying so hard to constitute a child as a slave for the point of saying, see, I can abort. I mean I don't I don't that doesn't make any it doesn't it clearly you know doing I mean because Rusty's here is laughing because he he damn well knows there's a difference. You know, you know it's, 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 a, it's, it's, it's a topic that's it's, it's comical to laugh about because we say people are we say people have fundamental liberties and then we come up with at least a billion exceptions on the planet as to why they don't have them. Which I'm like, then they're not fundamental and self-evident. They're. Wait a minute, Rusty, you're right. Guess what? The Constitution of the United States is an extended China. We try. I mean, that's exactly right. If I go to another country, the laws of force, then then we really get to to the ends of everything. Then then it's primal. It's like I, it's like you know these people that are uh, of the gold standard that try to hoard gold. And I ask them, why do you hoard gold? Because the United States is going to collapse and the world's going to go to hell. And I answer them, is why are you going to hoard gold? Who's going to buy it? You need to invest in the lead. And then in fact, that's shit in the bullets. You know, so that you can defend yourself at that point at the most primal, I guess, model of all, which is your survival against others. Uh, did, uh, Marcel, did you ever see the, uh, what was the movie where, like, we had the nuclear holocaust? Oh. The Trumpy Gates or whatever, 28th... Yeah, basically, we had nuclear warfare and everybody's like, there's a scene, I can't remember the name of the movie right now, there's a scene in that movie where exactly what you're talking about, these people come across a farmer who is like out there, they're, like, they're trying to steal from him, and they're out there, and he has a shotgun, he's like, leave my land, but he's not prepared to shoot him. They rush him, take his gun, shoot him and his family. Wow. Because yeah. it was like, at the end of the day, that's what it was. They're like, you have it, we want it. <laughs> it's survival of the fittest. It's, I mean, it's true. It's, I mean, look, come on. We, we, uh, that's why I don't like getting into the, all these abstracts. We're discussing our laws here, because I hope we're discussing the United States law. And, and yes, we use, we use comparisons, but for crying out loud, the U.S. law doesn't extend in terms of equality and liberty for what a human being is to other countries. Then, no, it's, I, we're exempt. Then you're on your own. I mean, you want to go to China and you want to go fight with them and pick up the bamboo sticks and fight the soldiers? Go for it. I mean, I mean, I can't. I can't. I can't. It doesn't change what, the, what we have for long. We would strive to be, correct? 
why can't the United States just give social security numbers to fetuses? Why can't it give to fetuses? Because we're, we're going round and round in this debate, and we're not going to come. We're not going to come to an answer because the reality I, is. No, it doesn't. It, well, it doesn't have to because if if there is assistance needed for that pregnancy by the government from the mother, the extra money is then for that fetus. So I believe. I, I, I it's it. I, I don't fill out tax returns as a father. You'd know more than I would, uh, Marcel. Yes. At uh, what age Absolutely. does the IRS require you to issue them a social security yeah. number? I think it's three, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, part of part of Planned Parenthood's services is to help parents with children. Now, obviously, I mean, the government also helps you with your pregnancy. You you have all kinds of things where you can get programs that help with your adoption and, and give you assistance and give you medical coverage. So obviously, the government is recognizing that there is a cost to that individual, or it would not give the cost to that person to help with its situation. With that, I really don't know how we got. To Conversation, but to close this, uh, the, the <laughs> we, we said we'd already done. Uh, we, we said we'd already done pro-life, pro-choice, and somehow we got off on pro-life, pro-choice again. <laughs> it's like, right. I think I mentioned this that Jonathan and I are the closest, and that we only disagree in the sense that we don't agree on everything. Right. 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 And I was right. just, I was playing devil's advocate to point that out. I think that's about that's fair. Not Is that correct, Jonathan? I mean, you and I are, are close other than, because I'm not, I, I beg with rapes and choices with terms and concerns of health, which I know majority of the pro-life movement disagrees with me, because believe me, I've, I've, I've received their wrath uh, <laughs> in, in doing that. So, um, you know, in having those opinions. Uh, okay. uh, the, it's hypocritical for like the Republicans because they're like, oh, you have to have the baby, you know, for pro life. You have to have the baby, but once the baby's born, we're not gonna help you. Yeah, no matter what, and yeah, no matter what, it, yeah, it's like it's like no matter what, the life is the life, and you have no choice, even if it was raped or even if you kills you. Well, and that 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 extreme view goes back to the you know the Bible view of it's a sin. I said, it's like, it's like you said, Rusty. I mean, we disagree on where that human being is defined. Um, and, and that's why it's an issue. It's a fundamental it's question that... I, I, it's crazy abstracts of trying to fight and slavery, which sidetracked the whole goddamn thing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this, this ridiculous shit of which all of us good and well know uh, what we personally have, but just to freaking play devil's advocate and, just, and, and out of spite, by the way... Uh, <laughs> Create up all these stupid ass arguments. <laughs> oh, I, I did. I, they were not out of spite. I was pointing out the logic of something. <laughs> <laughs> I was consistent, man. Um. So yes, yeah, so I don't know how we got into this, but the, what I was saying before was uh, that I'm, I'm for uh, mixed economies and stuff because the thing, if you just leave capitalism like unregulated, you know, most freedom and stuff, then I don't know. It's just crazy. Like you can't have it. That's why I'm, I'm for mixed economies because I mean. If you have wealth of nations, which I was talking to you about it before, you know, with the freedom of information and stuff like that, and businesses don't want to disclose the information, I know you were you were taking a more like people approach where everybody gathers up and and asks the company to disclose information. But why don't you just if you want to have a good economy, why don't you just from the get go say, look, you have to disclose information. Simple as that. So you don't have regulations to like you know punish businesses for them uh, having businesses in the United States. But just to promote the basis of capitalism, you know, so you can have a fair competition. I agree with that, so, but I don't think I ever disagree with you on saying that there are there are regulations that I agree with. I think I've said that to you more than once. Well, at any economics class that's worth a shot, the first thing it'll point out is the services in which uh, an alternative economic model that's not necessarily capitalistic is best to provide under, such as libraries. Schools, uh, yeah. other things yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, total chaos. That's correct. Yeah, I mean, which are fundamental to a capitalistic system thriving. Right. Even though it's yeah. best not to run them capitalistically. Yeah, exactly. I think it's like capitalism is not chaos in, in, in essence. I mean, because while it's an economic model, there are much many things outside of society that put a play on an economic model, and it's the job of the economic model to adapt. To, to the society, is it not? And and that's the point of capitalism is can, what m economic model system can adapt better to the human condition 
the fastest and most rapidly to cause the least amount of pain in transition to what happens economically. And right. that's, I, I argue capitalism because versus central planning, we've obviously seen what massive amounts of central planning do, and they can't adapt as fast. They cause massive amounts of problem, and then even more poverty, so on and so forth. Right, because and, the particles are changing. Exactly. And we but, need something that can adapt the fastest, of course. Is what, well, I, and that, that, that is, what you're hitting on is actually one of the reasons regulation is counterproductive, because by the time you get the regulations in place, the rules of the game have changed and the regulations are set. Yeah, I, I, I actually, I got in trouble in this when I was in high school. Uh, they made a law. There was literally a law in my high school school district that's, that, that, the re, that said uh, teenagers could not have a cell phone, and I had one. Uh, and the law was put on the books because the law was fighting. It was it was a it was part of the war on drugs. And the logic was teenagers with cell phones are drug dealers. It took them so long to get this law on the books that by the time it was on the books, cell phones were not only in the hands of drug dealers but many 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 people. <laughs> And that's the same thing with regulations. By the time you get the red tape of the regulations in place, they're dealing with a set of rules that has already not, changed. Not everything does. So that's why I get to local regulations. See, I say I for as well. No, but that's what, that's that goes with what you're saying. That's why it should be handled at the local level because the local is best equipped to deal with those changes on the time scale they happen. That's right. There, the local level is more adapt to responding to your needs far more rapidly and more efficiently. That's and that, and, that, and that has been my whole point, um, is that, of course, I'm for regulation, Don, because I wouldn't participate in the city if I was not. And, you know, I, obviously, I abide by many regulations that I think are very beneficial. Or, or, I, or I would just be some idiot out in the damn field growing my own shit and have a septic tank with a windmill. <laughs> <laughs> idiot, huh? Obviously, I do agree with regulation. That's why I say... Who told you about my dream house? <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, so, but yeah, but, so let's yeah. say let's say education, and what was the other topic we were going to cover? Oh, FDR's second bill, second bill of rights for next next time. Okay. And so please, it's not getting crazy abstract shit. <laughs> and then with this group, it's all but inevitable. <laughs> so yeah, for, for capitalism, I mean, like it's good and stuff, but I mean, like if you have pure capitalism in a, in a real world, in a I mean, okay, let me start with an ideal world. In an ideal world, then, okay, everybody's perfectly happy, everybody wants to do charity, and everything's okay, no exploitation, nothing like that. But, when you have it in the real world, you do have greed, and you have, like, oh, I'm going to exploit the shit out of these workers, and I'll just pay them less, I can keep more profit, and stuff like that. I don't know, like... Hey, call me like, crazy, I don't necessarily... But you know, it's, I don't necessarily... I don't consider the seven deadly sins to be sins, but that's me. You know. well, wait. No, we're going to begin that next time, I guess, to, to rehash that out because the, the thing of it is is that I, there are there are costly ways of dealing with that and there are incentive ways of doing that, which get into the more surplus we can create, uh, the more the more we can, at least empirically is, it is shown to be true, is that the happier a person is, essentially, uh, the more they're willing to give. I haven't really seen... Uh, the opposite as much. Although I know very many low-income people that do want to volunteer their time, but if we're discussing the law, uh, which is in terms of handing out monetary things, because the law can't hand out morals, uh, essentially, that, right. that, where, yeah. where that connects is the same thing as I said before, the functional analysis of both sides as a unit. But if the person can never get happy in the first place, then, I mean, it just fucks itself up. Well, sometimes, you know, we may come into the equation that if nothing monetarily, which which we are based upon, uh, like an acquiring of a house, which is monetary, a car, and this, if that if that doesn't succumb to their happiness, I, I mean, then we really have an anomaly on, on okay, what constitutes your happiness at this point? That that really is outside of even social constraints of providing you. Well, that, I think that's part of the reason the what was the, I think that's part of the reason it's phrased the pursuit of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Yes, yeah, the pursuit. Of yeah, because it's yeah yeah it, what makes one person happy will make another person miserable.